Hi everyone and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, let's continue where we left off. And I think we should check the black market really quick. Before we go to finish the reduced contact cost. We got almost 300 intel, so that's a lot of intel. Might as well try to spend it on something. Let's have a look. Oh, there's actually an epic logbox. I will definitely get that. Okay, yes, I'm sure I want to spend 40 intel. What else? Superior perception. Yeah, that's nice. And iron skin. I'm not sure what that does, but it sounds useful. And we can get yet another gunner. <laughs> that's kind of hilarious. That will be a lot of gunners, but I think I'll go for it. Sure, we'll get Amy. Do we want the PCS? We still got 256 intel, so let's get the AIM one at least. Do we want the other one too? It's tempting. But I think we spent enough intel for now. Yeah, I think we spent enough intel and you know, we still need some of the intel. Okay, that's good enough. Let's have a look then. So now we have a free gunners in major rank, that's kind of hilarious. Let's have a look. I might go for a slightly different skill setup this time. Blast padding, yeah, that's not bad. I will still pick up shredder, however. So shredder. And... So locked on is actually nice now that I know traverse fire exists. Let's pick up locked on. And... Cool under pressure. Walk fire. I think I prefer walk fire, although... It's a tough choice. Maybe we should pick up chain shot on one person. Let's pick up chain shot on one person. Why the heck not? But I will take hail of bullets because that's just so good. And the Traverse Fire. Alright, looks good. So, let's continue then, shall we? Oh yeah, also, before we continue, we should open the logbox, obviously. We can actually rush it, yes. Let's do that. Give me something nice, thanks. What are the options? Spark armor, medium armor, or light armor? Well then, I think I'll take medium armor because spark still gets notoriety which means we won't be using spark on every single mission and I will use a good medium armor on every single mission we do. Let's go for the armor. What did we get? Sandman. Superior shield gate. Provides 3 points of shields and the user cannot lose hit points when shielded. Nice. Decreases enemy Detection radius by 10%, that's also nice. Decreases chance of being critically hit by 5%. And decreases damage taken from magnetic weapons. Yeah, that's not bad. The superior shield gate is quite nice. Okay, carry on then. And back to our regular research. Which means powered armor. Alright. Back to the bridge. And now we should finish amusement center. Let's go and do that. We still got 116 intel, so we should be fine. We'll only need 40 to make contact with New India. And we got Viper rounds. Yeah, that's actually nice. Because that will poison enemies and it's also extra aim. There. So this should give us a mission. Yep. Operation Ice Blade. Hold on, should we do anything at the proving ground? Maybe another grenade? I likely won't use it, but we got 15 cores. Let's just get another grenade, why not? And back to the bridge. Supply raid, oh that's nice. And facility lead, okay. Well, first of all, let's do the mission, shall we? Let's see... Codex, Viper, Elite, Advent Priest... 
Sectopod. Advent Heavy Grenadier. Okay, we will have a Sectopod in here. That's fine. So, who are we going to bring? Let's clear the squad first. Let's bring Amy, our newest gunner. Yep. And who else? Let's have a look. Vincent, he has no notoriety. Who else? Misaki, no notoriety, and we could use some firepower. Anyone else? Let's bring Grandpa Moray. He could use a promotion. And he should be very close to a promotion. Maybe a sharpshooter. So Roland would be fine. We could also bring Daniel. Was Daniel the Spec Ops with the really funny specialization? Yes, yeah, snapshot, evasive, aggression. Yeah, that's him. Okay, sure. No sharpshooter then, because Daniel will use the Black Widow sniper rifle. Who else? Which class do we lack? We don't have a grenadier, but all our grenadiers currently have a lot of notoriety. So I think I'll pass on that. What are the options? We could bring Zoe. She should be pretty close to a promotion, yeah. And one more person. What class do we want? Someone with some firepower. Let's have a look. What are the actual options? Or someone close to a promotion. We got a lot of people with notoriety right now. Sean, second assault. He's not close to a promotion. Let's check if we got someone close to a promotion. What about one of our surgeons? What about Jolie, for example? Yeah, she's nowhere close to a promotion. Alright. Anyone else? I could bring Rajin. Only 10 days of notoriety. I could also bring the Spark if I want to. But I think I'll pass this time. Let's bring Rajin. Sure. Okay, and make everything available. Yeah, that won't work like that. Why is it not working? That worked before. There, now it worked. Okay, then. So, let's start from Grandpa More. I think I'll still use the bolt caster because it will give him additional aim. And we'll need at least one kill. Preferably two kills. Okay, who's going to use the armor? Good question. I think we should give it to one of the assaults. Because they will be the ones doing risky moves. Well, we only have one assault in here. That's Zoe. Okay, sure. Let's do that. As an alternative, I could also give it to Rajin. Because that will further reduce the detection radius. I assume it will stack. And also Spec Ops have low health. So if she gets revealed, the shields will actually help quite a bit. This is the most squishy class. Okay, fine. Enjoy. And what else? Let's have a look. Which weapon will she use? Oh yeah, she has combat knife spec, which means we can give her the combat knife. And then the stun gun. Okay, that's fine. Works for me. And maybe the battle scanner. And the medkit. Okay, good enough. So next up, we got Daniel. We'll have two spec ops in this mission, but they have completely different specs. So that's okay. Black Widow. And not much point giving him a combat knife, although... Yeah, okay. And some armor. 
We could actually give him heavy armor, because why not? Yeah? Why the heck not? We can do that. And keep the grenade. Maybe acid bomb. No, let's keep the regular grenade. And shredder gun. Looks good. Who's next? Moray. You also need the skull jack and the medkit and some armor, perhaps. Okay, next. Misaki. So I think I'll go for a slightly different setup. No Spitfire this time. We'll use a pulse rifle with superior hair trigger. And then we can give her blue screen rounds because she has fun fire. Which means that we need blue screen rounds to take advantage of that on a pistol. So we'll go for a setup like this. And what else? Mimic beacon? Or maybe something else? Acid bomb? Someone needs to grab the frost bomb. Since we don't have a grenadier in here. And some armor. Sparks. That reduces damage taken from plasma weapons. Okay. So that's Misaki. Also, who is going to use the personal combat sims? We got plus 3 mobility and plus 15 aim. I guess we should use one of the plus 15 aim mods on one of our gunners because they are our most experienced soldiers. How about we use it on Amy since we picked up chain shot and the chain shot kind of relies on hitting the first shot. So that makes sense. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Let's do that. Here, enjoy. And let's give her proper gear, shall we? First of all, the weapon. Some armor. How about we give her the heavy armor? That works. And what else? An acid bomb. Yep, acid bomb works. Looking good. Who's next? Vincent is next. So Vincent kind of needs the stand gun. Which is a bit awkward because I'm already using it. On Rajin. I could give Rajin something else instead. Like a regular pulse rifle. We can always do that. I could also give her the Spitfire, which is an interesting option. No, I can't give her the Spitfire. Right. So, Vincent. Stand gun for Vincent. Some armor. And what else? We can give him the Shadow Keeper. And what else? Some ammunition. Viper rounds. Because he will poison enemies and get plus 10 aim. So that makes sense. And we still need the Mimic Beacon on someone. Not sure who that someone is going to be just yet. Good question. Who is going to bring the Mimic Beacon? What about Zoe? She could bring the Mimic Beacon. Okay, I think that works. And she can also bring the Speedfire. So Mimic Beacon, Speedfire, the Axe, and what else? A grenade? Probably. No, the Frost Bomb. So she can bring both the Frost Bomb and the Mimic Beacon, which means we won't be able to use both at the same time, but we probably won't have to. At least I don't think so. We still got superior speed. But we need to use that on someone higher rank. I think we're ready at this point. Looks like we are. This is a bit of a strange squad, but it should work quite nicely. Let's go then. Shannon 
has been keeping an eye on a faint advent signal popping up occasionally in this region. As far as we can tell, it's likely a malfunctioning data vault, and it appears to be carrying critical intel tied to the aliens' latest operation. We can't pass up any opportunities to slow their progress, so we're moving on the train. Neutralize their security forces, lock down the area, and seize control of the assets. All right, so let's take a look around. Here's the objective. A little bit far away, it seems. Where's the objective? I didn't see it. What's going on? Yeah, it's right here. Not sure what happened with the camera right there. That was a little bit awkward. And there's some nice high ground nearby. Now, we probably want to get as close as possible without losing concealment, because we only got seven turns after we lose concealment. Let's just use the high ground. Here's the first group, but we won't be attacking it just yet. Yeah, let's just move as far as possible. We'll use the roof. That seems like the most reasonable option. Alright, people, let's go. Everyone. And then we can ambush them from the high ground. Let's do this. That works. Let's do this. Only seven turns though, that's really not a lot of time. On the move. We'll see how that will go. And Vincent. Vincent can run a little bit more Shoot than this. We could try to not ambush from the high ground and get even closer. But I think I'd like to kill these guys, especially the Prime Adept. How about we use Saturation Fire? <laughs> yeah, I think so. We might want to move first. No, we don't have to do that. We can stay where we are and use Saturation Fire like that. We won't hit Vincent, will we? No, we won't. Let's do it then. We probably won't kill all of them just with saturation fire, but that's okay. That's what we got our other soldiers for. Just make sure we won't hit Vincent with this. Okay, looks good. Let's do it. Go for it. Do some nice damage for me. Nice. 13 critical. That was a ton of damage right there. That was what? 35 damage total? Now we have to kill them all, which should be easy enough. That's close command specialist. And there goes the Prime Adept. Good start. X -ray neutralized. We'll kill the other two easily. No problem at all. Oh, 9 health healed. Yeah, that's because of the Autodoc. The Autodoc is quite annoying. Can we actually kill that other guy? He has four armor. Well then. We can flank him. With Daniel. Can we shred him? We can shred him. But if I do this, I will have to kill him. Because we'll be standing in the open. And there's a small risk that we'll trigger a group. But I would really like to kill him. We do have a regular grenade, don't we? Who had the plasma grenade? Daniel has a plasma grenade. How about we throw the plasma grenade to destroy his cover and shred some of his armor? That sounds like a good plan to me. Let's do that. That should do the trick. And then we can kill him quite easily. We actually got a crit, not a very impressive crit. <laughs> Alright, we also have to kill the Autodog, preferably. So, Amy. That's your job. That's a granted hit, and he's dead. Good job. And the Autodog. 100. That might also be a kill. No, it's not. That's okay. Someone else will get the kill. Someone who could actually use experience, like Moray. Yep, he needs at least one kill to get a promotion from this mission. 
would be nice to get two kills. There. Done. First group down, and that's a promotion, nice. Let's move on then, shall we? Vincent is still concealed. So he can scout ahead a little bit. See what's going on. We need to know where the sectopod is. There's a group. Right next to the objective. Okay then. Let's throw the battle scanner, shall we? That might reveal something. In this direction. Yeah, let's see if there's a group on the other side of the train. Nope, at least not in this area. Okay then. Can anyone else move? No yes. Problem, we'll overwatch in case someone shows up. So overwatch. Yep, the other group is moving, but they won't see us, I don't think so. We only got six turns left, so how about we hurry up? I think we should throw a battle scanner in this general direction to see if there's a group over there. So let's just do that. We'll keep Rajin on the high ground. Moving on target location. So battle scanner, how far can we throw it? This should do it. Yep, there's a group. No sectopod. Let's see. Moray needs a reload. So reload. Vincent is still concealed. He could actually ambush these guys. Possibly. Let's move a bit closer to them. Still no sectopod. I wonder where exactly that sectopod is. As for Daniel, let's just move as close as possible. He has the shredder gun. That's definitely going to be useful. Amy needs a reload. So reload. I could also attack the Viper group with a rocket launcher. That's one possibility. Zoe also needs a reload, but let's just run with her. And Misaki. Move down here and overwatch. In case something shows up. Looking good, Overwatch. What's going on? Nothing at all, apparently. Make longbow. Yeah, I don't like these things. They are pretty annoying. Because they can use missiles from quite far away. How do we do this, then? Our positioning is slightly awkward. And there's still that group with the Viper around here. But we have to hurry up. We only got five turns. I can't afford to wait. I can't reach them with the Shredder gun. And Daniel is not concealed. I think we should just shoot them with Vincent. Or something like that. Oh, there's the group with the Viper. What else can we do? Not a whole lot, really. We could use Haywire Protocol. We can always do that if we fail to kill the Longbow on this turn. Let's just take a shot with Vincent. That will do pretty damn good damage. At least 9 damage guaranteed. Do we want Overwatch with anyone? I don't think so, no. Daniel has the Shredder gun, although Overwatch with him might make sense. Let's move a little bit first. Okay, we'll Overwatch with Daniel. And others need to move much, much closer than this. Let's take that shot and see where exactly the mech is going to move. And the other guy. So go for it. Hopefully Daniel's Overwatch will trigger. Let's find out. Will it trigger now? Oh, it used Overwatch exactly where it was standing. That is slightly annoying. Okay. What do we do now? 
Can we actually kill it? I think we should use Haywire protocol in this situation. From all the way in the back. I kind of need to move towards my actual objective, you know? So I'm not too excited about this. I cannot hit them both with a rocket launcher because they are not close enough to each other. I might have to just trigger that reaction shot. We can't even do that because there's no cover I can move into. Without risking getting flanked. This is very bad positioning. I don't think we can kill either of these guys. Which is a bit funny. Let's move a little bit closer because we have to do something. If I just leave that longbow there, it will use the missile because that's what they do. Guaranteed. It will do it. So I don't know. I can use Highwire Protocol, but we need to move towards our objective with Moray. So I would kind of prefer to do that. What if we use the rocket launcher? I would have to use it on the longbow specifically, which feels like a waste. It really does. I can even use it from all the way in the back, apparently. Yeah, it seems like I actually can. I can if I want to. We could try to blow up the wall. I don't think it will work, but it's a possibility. You know what? Let's use the rocket launcher. I normally wouldn't do it, but it will shred it, do some damage. And we actually did destroy the wall partially. And we hit the other group, which will actually trigger Daniel's overwatch. And now they are on fire. And he missed. Alright. I, I guess that's fine. So, Moray, what are you going to do? We can take a shot at the Viper. What about Zoe? I'm leaning towards throwing a battle scanner right now. I think that will be our best move, honestly. Out. Throw the battle scanner. Moray, you need to move. Let's go. And we can still use Haywire protocol if we want to. I don't think we can kill the longbow. Yeah, that seems rather unlikely on this turn. Let's just stun it. Fifty-six percent, not amazing. And we failed, because of course we did. And now it will get a bonus to defense. It's a little bit too far away for us to finish it off. Which is the really annoying part. I can't really silence take down anyone. Well, this is pretty bad. We'll just move Rajin a little bit closer. I still got the axe. But I cannot target the mech with it. I guess we'll just throw the Mimic Beacon. I'm still trying to find a way to maybe do free damage to the mech, but there's no way. We can't do it, not on this turn. Alright, just throw the Mimic Beacon. It's fine. We do, however, have quite a few active enemies. Overwatch. Let's see what's going to happen now. The Viper is on fire. So at least there's that. And here comes another group. Because why not? Alright then, with an Advent Priest. And yet another group. No, that's the Codex that was already there to begin with. Right. So, Mimic Beacon. Here comes a Viper. Two damage with stock. Not amazing. Oh, Bind failed, alright. The beacon can still take one more shot. There we go, okay. And the longbow 
will almost definitely use a missile because that's what they do. It's a bit annoying. And it will move away from us, which is even more annoying. I really dislike these things. Yeah. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it destroys cover. But now we can actually finish the mission quite easily. Because we did destroy the wall. Okay, well, we have to kill the longbow. How the heck do we do that? Can we even do it, like, at all? Can Daniel do it? Or is he too far away? He's currently too far away, but he could do it if he moves a little bit closer. Let's see, what are the options? A grenade wouldn't be a bad idea. But maybe not with Vincent. We do have the Shredder Gun. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, no. We can't even hit two enemies with it. We can hit two enemies. If we move a little bit closer, we might be able to hit the Longbow. And also two Vipers. It's possible. Keep in mind, I don't have another Mimic Beacon. So I would prefer to not get flanked, if at all possible. Who the heck is going to kill the longbow? Because seriously, we have to kill the longbow. I'm not leaving that thing alive. Vincent should be in range, right? Yeah, he is in range. And he has superior stock, so that is a granted kill. Do we want to stay where we are? I think that's fine. That codex will be a bit of a problem. Well, let's just stay where we are and take a shot at the longbow. It needs to go down. So down it goes. Now, the codex, the vipers, riot control. We got six active enemies. I'm not sure just how many we are going to kill. Good question. What can Moray do? Can we hack the thing? Well, technically I could, but there's no cover that I can use at the moment. I can't even skull mine, apparently. Alright, I guess we are too far away to do that. We can move and then use either aid protocol or blinding protocol. I'd like to move towards the objective. What are the other options? Amy, what can you do? We could try to hit the codex. But if we miss, it will take damage from stock. And I don't want that. Zoe. What about flesh on the codex? At least 8 damage. Might not be a bad idea. I could also use run and gun and then shoot codex from the flank. The only problem with this move is that we don't know where the one remaining group is. And that group has a sectopod. If I trigger a sectopod right now, that's going to be a disaster. We can't freeze more than one enemy, which sucks. I could freeze the codex, that's a possibility. Zoe. Well, who else? Rajin? How much damage can Rajin do? Can we kill someone? With silent takedown? Not really. If we do some extra damage to the Vipers, then we could. I'm really torn about this. I'm actually considering using the Shredder Gun, but we would have to reposition slightly. I can't do it from here. We can back up a bit and then use the Shredder Gun. From back here, for example, that might work. Okay, I'll go. Alright, let's try that. 
We can also just take a shot from the flank. I think I prefer Shredder Gun. Yeah, let's use Shredder Gun. That will hit both Vipers. Okay, go for it. There. Nice. It also destroyed the loot, but that's okay. It killed the Viper, that's the important part. And we can kill the other Viper. Although, I also destroyed Vincent's cover, which isn't brilliant. That's an unfortunate side effect. I thought his cover would be fine. Well, we can kill the Viper, that's for sure. How many more moves do we have? We still got Amy, but she can't do a whole lot. She can kill the Viper, I suppose. So let's move first. I'm just checking our chance to hit. The pistol might be fine. 89%. There, it's down. I know that was slightly risky because I could have missed. But I wanted to save ammunition. We'll just use aid protocol on Vincent, by the way. He will be fine, don't worry. And Zoe, can we kill anyone else? I don't think we can, actually. I could freeze the riot control, dude. Which might not be a bad idea. I could also freeze the codex. I'm strongly considering it. I can't kill the Codex on this turn, that's just not going to happen. I could try to hit the Riot Control. I could flank the Riot Control, but... I don't think that's a very good idea, because I would have to stand in the open. And I already plan to use Aid Protocol on Vincent. So, now... Let's Whatever just move into say. cover. And then we can take a shot. Twenty percent chance. I'm considering this. But it might be better to keep Funfire for the Sectopod, because it does have cooldown. Still, if we can kill the Codex, then we could freeze Riot Control, right? Yeah, we can freeze Riot Control. Let's try Funfire on the Codex. Why the heck not? It's down. I don't think it will clone like this. Yeah, it won't. Okay, good. So now we can freeze Riot Control. Let's do that. So we can do it. Like so. Not the best use of the Frost Bomb ever. But I don't want to risk that guy attacking us. We already got the Elite Viper to worry about. And we still got Rajin. And she is still flanked, I mean, concealed. Moray. So first, let's move Rajin. Before we move Moray. Like so. Position. And then Moray can give Vincent aid protocol. Okay, works for me. Plus 30 defense. That's as good as cover, basically. And I think that's that. Overwatch in case something flanks us. And I can still move Daniel if I want to. Let's move him a little bit closer. This is still full cover, so it should be good enough. Now, I expect the Viper to pull someone in, or at least try. That Sectopod is still out there somewhere. It will try to shoot us and miss terribly. The Priest will likely shoot us as well, because there's no one it can heal. But the priest doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Okay, we are fine. And how about we actually finish the objective? Yes, Bradford, we know. Calm down. Moray. If we move like this, we will be able to finish the objective. So, we need to move Rajin out of the way. If we do some damage to Riot Control, we could then use Silent Takedown. So how about we do that? 
Let's see. I still feel a little bit nervous about moving like this because that sectopod is out there somewhere. I don't know. What else can we do? I could throw a grenade, but Vincent needs to move somewhere first. Our options for cover are extremely limited. Oh, screw it, let's move over here. That. It's safe. I'm glad that it is. So we can afford to throw the grenade, then we can take a shot. Okay, go for it. And now we can take a shot. And we can use silent takedown. Yeah. How much damage will that do? Only six. What about on the priest? Seven. That's also not enough. We need to take a shot with Misaki. What's our chance to hit 85%? Alright, good enough. Let's kill Riot Control first. Hopefully we won't miss. Eight damage. And we got a free action, awesome. Okay then, let's shoot the priest in that case. Nice. And we can get a kill on Riot Control now. We can get a kill on both. Can we? Well, sort of. Amy, what about Amy? What can she do? We do have Hail of Bullets. And I could use it on the priest. The problem is that the Elite Viper might flank us then. Which is not amazing. Okay. And Zoe. Do we want to use Silent Takedown or not? I could kill the priest with it. Let's just use it. So off you go. Just don't run into the fire or through the fire. This should be fine. We might fail. We got 11% chance to miss. So you better not miss, you hear me? There, he's dead. Nice one. 17 critical damage. That was a bit of an overkill, I'm just saying. Now we just have to kill Riot Control. I don't really want to waste hail of bullets for that. We can take a shot from back here. So let's just do that. 86%, 100. Not much point saving ammunition. Let's just take a shot for a granted kill. So that leaves us with the Viper. And obviously one more group that has a sectopod. And we still need to finish the objective. So let's do that right now. Well, actually, how about we blind the Viper? It's not like we're in a huge rush. We can always hack the container on the next turn. And this will neutralize the Elite Viper for one turn. Good enough. And we can move a little bit closer to it. And maybe even take a shot. Let's use Overwatch instead. And what about Daniel? Overwatch with Daniel. What will it do? It will take a shot with minus 50 penalty. Good luck with that. And now we can hack the container. Let's do it. Off you go. What can we do here? 50% research time boost. That would be really nice right now, actually. Yeah, let's go for that. And we got it. Nice. So that will speed up powered armor because that's what we were researching. Awesome. And now kill the Viper as well as the Sectopod with friends. Because we know the Sectopod will have friends. This will be easy enough. So let's move a little bit closer. I don't want to move too much. 
because we don't know where exactly that group is. Let's see, can we shred the Viper? Can Amy move close enough? Yeah, kind of, like this. All right, let's do that. That is close enough. 97%. Good job, and we even got a crit. Who wants to get a kill? Vincent? Rajin? Doesn't really matter. Silent takedown is still on cooldown, and Rajin is still concealed, so let's keep it that way, perhaps. Let's give Vincent a kill, why not? We can actually conceal Vincent if we do a little bit of damage to the Viper with someone else first. But can we do that? Stock? Who has stock? Not Zoe. Misaki has stock, right? Yes. Let's take a shot. If she gets a kill, that is also fine. If she doesn't, then we'll conceal Vincent. There, two damage. That will be free health. Right, this might not be enough. No, it will be enough. So, conceal. Done. Okay. And let's wait for the sectopod. Because it will find us. I'm on it. Guaranteed. Reload. And keep Rajin concealed. Alright, Overwatch. And let's just wait for the sectopod. It will definitely show up. We can spread out a little bit. There's not a whole lot of cover left around here. <laughs> Don't look at me, that's not my fault. Blame the aliens. Yeah, this might be a slightly awkward engagement, depending on where exactly that sectopod is. Let's just reload everything. Overwatch, Overwatch. So where the heck is it? I know you're there, there it is. Yep. Heavy Grenadier and a Priest. It didn't trigger yet, did it? No, it did not. Okay, let's just Overwatch again. I see no reason to move towards it. That would be a rather poor idea, actually. So we will stay where we are and Overwatch with everyone. Come on, we are right here. That's our welcoming committee. Now it's not moving at all? Okay, let's try one more turn. We do have an acid bomb. Why is it not moving? That's a bit awkward. Can we throw an acid bomb without it seeing us? I could. But I would like to hit all of them if possible. What else do we have? Oh yeah, we do have saturation fire and we can actually hit them with saturation fire. Let's do that. It won't do a whole lot of damage to the sectopod, but that's okay. I don't like only having partial cover for this. But the idea is to actually kill the sectopod. I would really prefer if it moved towards us at least a little bit more. But it looks like it won't do it. Okay, fine. Let's use saturation fire. Like this. Alright, go for it. Wait, friendly fire? What? Oh, we will hit the container, but that doesn't matter, we already hacked it. Yeah, that doesn't matter, we hacked it. It's fine, just do it. There. We did 11 critical damage, that's not too bad. I'll take it. We also missed the other two, but... Alright. So. 
Yeah, it moved close enough. I think we can kill it. Let's find out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can kill it. So first of all, let's shred it, shall we? That would be Amy's job. 100%, that's what I like to see. We'll take a shot first. And then probably take another shot. I could throw an acid bomb. Instead, or use hail of bullets. Or the grenadier. That might even kill him. If we end up doing 10 damage. So let's see if we can kill the sectopod using everyone else. And save Amy's second action for something more useful. Vincent can do good damage. Moray can actually use highway protocol. I don't think that's going to be necessary. So 80% chance to hit. What else can we do? Rajin. Okay. What else? Misaki. Oh yeah, Misaki has blue screen. We don't even have to shred the sectopod. Yeah, I actually think Misaki will be able to kill the sectopod on her own. I'm pretty sure she can do that. She got a free action. <laughs> yeah, Funfire will do it because that's going to be massive damage. Funfire with Bloodskin ammunition is just amazing. Oh, it's not actually dead yet. Well, it's about to be with one more shot. So, goodbye. Down it goes. And now we can actually kill the Grenadier. Even if we don't kill it with Hail of Bullets, we can probably kill him with Stock. Hail of Bullets first. 8 damage. Yeah, we can kill him with Stock. So, who is going to do that? Let's see, Rajin has Stock, right? She does, but she can also use Silent Takedown. So let's use Silent Takedown. It might be slightly safer to use Stock. Yeah, let's stay back here and use Stock instead. So that's going to be a kill. Bye. You want some more? And that leaves us with the Priest. Yep. I can't do much about the Priest on this turn. Well, I can blind it. Let's just blind it. Because it's not like we'll use the blinding protocol on anything else. It's the last enemy in this mission at this point. And we'll move a little bit closer. We might as well just dash towards it. Yeah, and Vincent. Vincent is still concealed. Let's keep it that way. I can't kill the priest on this turn, so... We'll keep Vincent concealed and we can flank it on the next turn. It will try to shoot us, probably. Sideguard, what the heck is that? That's something I've not seen before. Okay. Did that just give it extra armor? I think so. It won't help it. So, Amy, can we get line of sight? Apparently not. Really? I also have to reload. Let's throw... An acid bomb. That will shred it. Sounds good to me. Let's shred it first. We have to remove that armor. That will do it. And now Vincent. He can't actually flank it. However, he can use flash. So let's maybe use flash. We can use some high ground. That will force it to move. 99% chance to hit. Nice one, we actually got a crit. And now it's also poisoned and we got her trigger. Yeah, it's going to die. Just take a shot from up here, I can't flank it. 7 damage, it's pretty much dead already. We only need one more damage. Who wants some experience? Probably everyone. Who has stock? How about we get a kill for Rajin? I think she's the least experienced person other than Grandpa Moray. So, sure. 
enjoy your kill as long as you can hit him. Don't miss from point blank range. There, that's a kill, and we're done. You can't handle me. Nice. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. 13 Mission enemies killed. Not bad kid, Grandpa Morris. <laughs> I don't think he's a kid, I'm just saying. Alright, we got two promotions, nice. So that's going to be Combat Protocol. And Zoe. Killer Instinct, Blade Master, Lightning Reflexes. I do like Killer Instinct, but I also like Blade Master a lot. I think I prefer Blade Master. Okay, Blade Master. And that's that. Okay, looks good. We got a few mods, but they aren't super useful for us. Commander. And we reduced contact cost. And we recovered. Because Daniel was shaken. So now... We can make contact with New India, and that will only cost us 40 intel. We should consider getting the supply raid, because I actually really need more alloys and delirium. But hey, 9 days to finish powered armor. You know, we'll need alloys and delirium for powered armor too. In any case, this episode is done now, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.